Well everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Tales of Norse Mythology by Helen A. Geiber, and this is a wonderful leather-bound classic, which is has an incredibly cool cover to it. So, bonus points for that before you even open the book. But this is a pretty comprehensive collection of going beat by beat with each of the main figures in North mythology with pretty thorough and exhaustive explanations of their significance and also including some great stories on how they were involved in different aspects of this mythological history and you get all of these backstories and then as the book progresses you start getting more broader stories including a whole bunch of these specific figures and first off this is pretty readable it's not overly complicated I think it's something that most people could just pick up and start reading obviously there's a lot of uh, names that you don't have a good understanding of some northern uh, European languages might be a little bit harder or if <laughs> maybe you've seen some of the Marvel movies and have heard some of these terms before because that's the thing too like I've seen like, all the Thor films and Thor being incorporated, and obviously they draw upon certain things. Like, obviously you have Thor, Odin, Frigga, Loki, um, Fenris even pops up in Thor Ragnarok. But the idea here is this is a very on-point, comprehensive, and interesting dive into all aspects of Norse mythology and even gives you something towards the end where it gives you a bit of a guide on how to compare these to other perspectives of say like Roman and Greek mythology and seeing some of the parallels that each of these societies had in terms of how they perceived their deities and this book is if you're into mythology I think it's a must read it's really cool it's interesting and even if you might not be really into mythology, there's just a lot of cool stories and crazy stuff. Um, obviously, mythology goes hard. Um, there's crazy, fantastical stories sprinkled throughout. So, And even in this book in particular, there's some amazing drawings and specifically visuals that are added in. So, like, here's just this drawing, this portrait of Odin, and throughout, they even have specific translated sections and excerpts from, like, epic poems and stuff like that, which I think that's a, another added cool layer to all of this. And in general, I think this is a pretty comprehensive collection of Norse mythology, and it's a, it makes for a very interesting read, so I definitely recommend it. But those are my thoughts on Tales of Norse Mythology. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some books. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.